But that's Irma. I like it. Well, Irma is saying she's so glad you came. <laughs> and hope you will enjoy your stay here. And you uh -huh. How does it feel to have a whole bunch of visitors in the garden? You know, I thought about that. And what I have done to create this. In animals, hap the haploid generation is internal. In ferns, the haploid generation is free living. So the sperm, the, the spores fall on the moisture, they yeah. germinate, then reproductive then fertilization happens when the male swims to the female, and then when the females fertilize, then what you see as a fern grows. So each of these is a possible... There's hundreds what? of thousands. What you can do sometime is, when you first see this, the um, fern with the spores start to um, br turn brown, collect a couple and take them in a the house and lay them on white paper. Yeah. And you'll just see tons of little white dust uh, on paper. Then you take a mason jar, clean mason jar, you put a little soil in the bottom, pour boiling water in that soil, shake it around a little bit. When it starts to cool, drain it all off, then sprinkle your spores from your on piece of paper onto cool, that. Yeah. It's now cool and moist mud on the bottom, but sterilized. Then put a piece of saran wrap on the top of that with a rubber band and put it in an east-facing window. Then you'll notice it'll turn, it'll turn green like a little lawn. And that's the little phalli. I did this. And then pretty soon you'll start to see little tiny ferns start to grow, and that's how that's how this happens.